I'm sure if you're on TikTok, by now you've seen the whole sublimation, DTF, hybrid, hacker, whatever they call it. If you haven't though, let me give you a quick run through on what it is. First, you get your DTF film, which is a special film that you use specifically for DTF printing. First, you go ahead and pop that into your printer. Once your paper's loaded, go ahead and print your image. Always make sure that the side you print on is the side that feels more powdery, the side that feels glossy and plasticky. That will always be your carrier. So the DTF paper alone got jammed in the Sawgrass printer. So what I did to remedy that is tape a regular blank sheet of paper behind it. It's already annoying. Once we have it printed, it's time to powder it. We're gonna take this powder and put it all along the ink. I got my Walla Powder DTF powder, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over the wet part of the image. And I'm just gonna spread it evenly like this, so that way we can make sure it's on the entire image. Wherever there's wet ink, we want powder. And then just dump out the excess. Just like that. Now we have the front and a powdered back. Honestly, I'm more interested to see how this comes out on a dark t-shirt because we can all get white t-shirts for sublimation. So let's see what this looks like on a black garment. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like normal. Right now I have it at 320 degrees. I'm gonna put this on right there, and I'm just guesstimating here. I'm gonna press it for about 45 seconds. Let's do 45 seconds. See what it looks like. This is a cold peel, so let's give it a little bit of cool down. All right, this is pretty cool to the touch. Let's go ahead and take it off. Left a good amount of ink on the actual transfer film. This is the end result. I think this came out absolutely amazing for Halloween. Like, look at Thomas. He looks like he's dead. <laughs> Seriously, he looks like a ghost. He looks like a skeleton. He looks like, he looks like his face is running away. As you can tell, the quality is extremely bad. Like, it, this isn't something that I would even just give to my kid to use. There's a super simple explanation behind it, and it's because there's no white. Remember that with sublimation printing, the printer is assuming that whatever garment or paper that you're printing on, it's white. And this is the complete opposite, this is black. And as we all learned in Sublimation 101, sublimation printers don't print white, they only print C, M, Y, and K. So in this image in particular, it's missing all the white. So these little broken pieces right there in the smoke, or around their faces, those were white highlights that just didn't get printed. And what the printer will do is lay down less ink in those areas to just make it more of a shadow look, which in turn doesn't let the DTF powder stick to it because there's, well, not enough ink. I thought that maybe the DTF powder being white could give us some sort of white background to it, white backing, some highlights to it, but it doesn't work at all. Like, it's just not, um, it's, it's not meant to be, you know? It's not necessarily, all these items aren't really meant to work with each other. Now, I have seen some people have some success with these on TikTok. I've seen some people print them without a problem, print the images, powder them, and press them. Usually on light garments, and they look fine. A lot of times, they have been solid images. I tried to do it again with a more solid image. I tried to do another shirt for my son with Spidey and his amazing friends. It was gonna be on a white shirt. I did the same thing as the previous print where I taped the white paper to the back, to the back of it, but as it was printing, it jammed up the printer and it smeared up all the ink, and now I think I have to clean the print heads on it. <laughs> So that's not something that I'm going to be continuing. I give this a 0 out of 10. I, I personally don't like this method. I feel that just having to put a regular sheet of paper on top of this alone to feed it to the printer, that's just already too much work. Now, I will be washing this just to give you guys an update on how long it lasts, how long this ink lasts on there. I don't see it lasting for too long, to be honest with you, because I just don't see this type of ink really working with the adhesive. But you never know. You know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. At least we have an idea now for Thomas and Friends' horror show. This could be the Halloween special. No, but in all seriousness, uh, I don't really like this method. I'm not going to be continuing with it. I'm not going to be, I'm probably not going to be doing it again. Thank you to Heat Transfer Warehouse for sending over the DTF powder, but I'm going to keep that specifically for my DTF prints. Quick overview on how it feels. Uh, it feels pretty soft. It feels a lot softer than I expected it to. It kind of feels, it actually kind of feels like a DTF print, to be honest with you. It's soft. It feels kind of stretchy. Yeah, it's pretty stretchy. So in my opinion, this was a fail. Have you tried it? Have you had good results with it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what all of you think and whoever's tried it, I'd like to hear your experience. As always, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. 
really, really, really helps small channels like mine, and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Huge thank you to all of you for being here, and catch you guys next time. Peace.